Hello everybody. I want to show you my uh, digital clock. Uh, it's a uh, 12 hour AM PM clock. This one I've not, you know, I've seen of course the displays and everything before, the kind of controls everything. I have of course grabbed most of this from other people, but it's usually pretty simple to figure out for yourself either way. The displays sometimes get a little bit more interesting, of course, I'll show you, but uh, the mechanics behind it and how small it is is what I am really happy with right now. Uh, but as you can see, it's going, and uh, I'm just uh, kind of kick it along here really quick. And a little, yep, a little slow there. I am working on some of the delays. It would be nice to hopefully be able to figure that out but it is at least working and sometimes uh, due to the delays on repeaters back there you have to kick one forward to get the other one to advance but as you see there's 9 10 p.m. 11 p.m. and I'll just kick this instead of doing everything else but yeah there we are 12 a.m. it's going through um, show you the outside change our time here This is basically just the enclosure for it. Um, most of that area is just uh, to blind out daylight. Uh, this area starting here is of course where the clock actually is. So basically the clock is all within that box except for a little bit that goes underground just for wiring and uh, basically I did put my clock down there, or the, sorry, the uh, basic clock running everything. And I will get down there and show you. Up in my nice little quicker transportation and run it over there. And most of this is due to one of the uh, newest Redstone uh, updates they have where you can lock repeaters. I've been using that to lock them. Uh, I believe it's called uh, you know just basically shifting it over. Uh, which of course I'll go over to the second hand to show you it in action as it moves much faster. And there we are. As you see, every time it just keeps ticking once a second. And that's due to this torch turning off that allows the signal to go through. Uh, setting the repeaters on a uh, two tick delay is required or it uh, starts doubling the signal. Um, going down underneath, uh, let's see here, where's a nice safe spot to, uh-oh, uh not good, just ruined it, what do you know. And he was on the two tick delay, and do I have a button here, yes I do, what do you know, just in case I ever screw something up like that. And he did not take, I, it's because I am pointing my repeater in the wrong direction, isn't it? Maybe that'll help. Let's see. There we go. He's running again. But yep. That is the clock. Uh, 10 tick delay. Uh, goes up and uh, basically hits the torch up there and stops it. Allows the current through to the next repeater block. This here is the return. Uh, once it hits the end, it goes to that and starts it back over. Off the return, I am using the carryover. I grab my carryover here with a short delay because I am grabbing off of, I believe, the 8. Uh, so basically, delay it just enough for once the, or no, I'm grabbing it off the 9, sorry, and delaying it just enough so once it ticks back to 0, it uh, triggers the next one to switch. So it's pretty much simultaneous. Um, I'll go back up and show you that in a minute, but of course then here above us is the next one, and there's the come down. I unfortunately have not found a better solution for this. I'm sure somebody else out there has, and I need to find it, because this is a pain in the butt. But that is basically a 10 second delay. So I start my uh, minutes at the 50 second mark, and basically once we hit 59 and 60, it triggers it. 
and sends it over to the one or two minute whatever the next tick on that one would be uh, all this other stuff here that you're seeing heading back that way that's all to the control station if you want to set the clock uh, and of course the only I have two mechanics in here with pistons. I have my on off switch and my AMPM up there, which I will show you, which I do believe is the T flip flop, if I remember correctly. And this is also the carry in line for the AMPM, which I'll show you here at the end. And just to kind of give you an idea, it just kind of continues down. Certain ones I feed off the zero, so you don't actually see the feedback in over here. Um, some I feed off the nine, it, so it kind of just depends if you're going to see those or not. And let's try and find a hopefully safe place to pop out at. Luckily, oh, cool. Didn't mess anything up. This is the hour, uh, tens of hours, so basically it's either one or it's off and so I still have to have the two repeaters because it has to be held in one state for being off at certain times when it's on it's of course showing the one when it's off it's not each time that guy ticks over I believe or is it every other time and did it no once it ticks eh, I'll have to think about that I can't remember how I programmed it now uh, but that does end up sending the signal down uh, this is the feed in from that very long display and sends that down and that's what feeds into the AMPM and I'll show you that these encoders of course most likely everybody's seen uh, very efficient mine uh, the way I do my shifting and needing the redstone out I have to double the length and then of course this one having to be actually a uh, what would it be 12 digits or 13 digits altogether uh, since it has to go one two three zero and then has to do one and two again and then start back over uh, is the longest one in the bunch and then the, for the most part I'll just show you the very end and sorry it is a little dark in here hope you can see everything okay and here's just my regular T flip flop for the AMPM. When that thing guy gets triggered, it's a uh, quick pulse. Grabs the block over. If it doesn't have it with it, if it does have it with it, it releases it there. Whichever one it's on, it stays lit. Right now, the tower's going up and lighting up my. Uh, I do believe that's AM, yes. And PM is dark. Uh, and eh, it ain't going to hurt me to just bust this open. But that is pretty much it. Actually, I guess I should maybe slow down, show you guys a little, so you guys can kind of check it out in case you want to use it. It seems to be a very efficient, uh, very little quirks. I've only noticed one, and I think it was due to something I screwed up on. Usually, it's you know when I'm doing a change to redstone, I don't get the timing right, something like that. But that is that one. The encoders, uh, let's see if I can find one a little closer, some more light. Pop down some glowstone or something, too. And I'm sure you can, this is pretty much familiar to most everybody out there. Torch is going up, whichever one you want it on, you put the torch to light up the line, go into your certain segmented display. Uh, if you, you know, if the number is actually going to come on for that one, as you can see here for 0 and uh, 1, it doesn't need even the middle display number, so there's nothing there. Everything else, uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5 all have the middle, so they all have one. Uh, pretty much self explanatory. You know, if you're having a hard time with it, try and, you know, play with it. You should be able to figure it out. So I kind of did it, and I saw a quick video got it down um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video any questions or anything like that feel free to uh just send a comment or something on my channel i do believe there's probably some kind of email address attached to it and uh, if you liked it you know give me a thumbs up hope you guys have a good new year and have a good night